How can I help? Show me what is available. Nothing to your liking? Well, you... What can we do for... That's all for now. So, what will it be? What have you got for me? So it begins. Good luck, Evar.
Que veux-tu dire si tu poses le dame au cul de Rostamus Tu la vins de renouveler, c'est d'autres. Well done, Evor. I expected nothing less. What do you want to do? What do you have? So it begins. Good luck, Evor. Already dead, fool. Get out the tracks. Drive my blows. Magnifique. If you want to do more, I'll be here. So, 
what will it be? How did the rebels fare? for now how can I help what have you got for me so it begins good luck Evar <laughs>
Nazis. Oh, Was fällt ohne? Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. So, what will it be? Show me what is available. So it begins. Good luck, Evar. Ich war das Kattel auf die Ardeis.
Well done, Eivor. I expected nothing less. How can I help? Time we made improvements. for now what do you want to do what do you have so it begins good luck Evar. Magnifique! If you want to do more... So, what will it be? Show me what... So 
it begin. See me, this will get messy. Well done, Eivor. I expected nothing less. How can I help? How did the rebels fare?
That's all for now. What do you want to do? What have you got for me? So it begins. This place is heavily guarded. Good work. Let me know if you're looking. So, what will it be? Time we made.
That's all for now. How can I help? I will be back later. Well What do you want to do? 
What do you have? So it begins. For you, attend this!
Well done, Eivor. I expected nothing less. So, what will it be? What have you got for me? So it begins. Good luck, Eivor.
Magnifique. What do you want to do? What can we do for the rebels? all for now how can I help show me what is available so it begins good luck Evor
Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. So, what will it... What have you got? So it begins.
Let's go hooded here. Well done, Eivor. I expected nothing less. What do you want to do? What do you have? So it begins.
Let's see. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. You too, Pierre! It is time for merriment! Magnifique! If you want to do more, I'll be here. Is this a celebration? In a way, a break for all our hard work. Come, drink with us. The place is starting to look more like an alehouse than a rebel hideout. We call them taverns here, Eivor. Careful. Too much wine and a man's heart is laid open for all to see. Good people. I do not make long, flowery speeches. <laughs> what I want to say amounts to but a few words. We have arrived! A toast to us and to Eivor! You have become softer than the cheese you love. I did not have any hope for this movement when we started. Or rather, I did not want to have any. A small group of armed peasants against what? An army of trained soldiers. But now... It is not through numbers that victory is gained. But in the hope and courage of those who fight. Bah, hope is an ugly word. But, oh dieu, they made me feel. For friends last longest, if faith be fair, who give and give again. A verse from the Havamal, words of wisdom we follow. Poetic, for a collection of bloodthirsting raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Meet up. 
How can I help? Time we made improvements. That's all for now. What do you want to do? I will be back later. Well, you know where to find me if you change your... How can I help? Back to England? To England. Off we go then.
Say the words, and we are off. I'll leave up.
late to the feast. Long ships on the shore, as beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True, this is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before, bled, killed. Yes, but there are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. One says, it is better to live than to die, that the dead till no fields. You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost Thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind.
one with red flowers. Eyes open. My wife? Why does God torment me? Why? Easy, my lord. You drank too much wine and your tongue runs free in its grief. No, I must hide. Norsemen drink the blood of saints. Reveal to Prophet John. Everyone. Cold stranger. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady. But I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady, I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. Our newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cellar. I would believe it. One of our nobles scouring like a stable hen. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps. But what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those reds I need to meet with Odo. Stable hand? Someone! Oh, help me bash down this door! Oh, one of our guests! Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and help Lord Clovis out. Nothing to fear. 
I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. This trunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the red I need to meet with Count Odo. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. Not getting in this way. You see, dear Lothar, Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. <laughs> Servant, bring more wine. I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. Count Odo leading us. We shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and blunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil. As we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. 
But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. If all you risked much to see me, I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they bound Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We're not a part of your kingdom. <laughs> And I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind.
true, but a wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for our catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka's right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word once given is never broken. I will fight at your side, Siegfried. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle, we are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thane. Someday she might stand in front of an army like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> uh, what do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. Delay the groundwork for the siege, but what to do first?
they see me, this will get messy. I should join Siegfried at the bell tower. We need to scout some ground for his catapults. What do you see, Sunan? Come one, come all! Enter our humble... Toka home. said King Charles carouses at this tavern. Strange to drink and make merry of the eve of war. Today marks the end of an age. So drink, friends. What a toast to the end of the world. The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool. The king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. What shall learn? Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead. No matter.
I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater and I'm young. Good. Let us go. No. He may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. the greatness of a king by his height by his weight by the length of his socks. hey what please you Of his anything, it's 
I be honest? Or a crook? And pantomime again, you air. Words are like water, ever flowing. Estimate our royal ruler's legal deeds. Do you see? Estimate our royal ruler's legal deeds rather than his part. Good, Alucard. You have made everything suddenly and abundantly clear. Almighty shall lie slow in the back of a dark. Looks like pit. the backstage. Maybe Charles lurks within. Thou daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No, 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 no. <sighs> it is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer. But mortal, all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me, and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> uh, forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand, for that trick you played on me and the Queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While Bias Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard. My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else be gone. You want him brought to a dingy theater where you talk to yourself in the dark? Hmm. No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door.
shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish scalds. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. But we should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. But what else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toga. I want to talk to you. Stop! You there! <laughs>
There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebos, warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come. Let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I've met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here! Come, man! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried! I am no goat-footed climber like you. But I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Attack! Vengeance or death! Our new catapults are eager for battle.
This place is a good line of sight on the city walls for our catapults. Great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then Stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nornir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. <laughs>